A few years have passed since I made this channel and I still don't carry much shit with me when going out. Even with all the crap I've been sent by several companies. So today, I'll show you all the junk I bring with me when I leave my cave back in the Philippines. And even here, in Cambodia. And no, I still don't bring a knife with me. Most establishments here in Southeast Asia have security guards and metal detectors, so that crap will get confiscated in a heartbeat. So stop asking me to showcase a knife. Before we begin, I want to show you the pocket knife that- Just kidding. Before we begin, let's go through my phone real quick. I'm still using the S22 Plus which runs out of battery faster now and it developed a green line on the screen that appears and reappears like a friend who's only there when they need something from you. It still works great and I still don't use a case. Shut up. Anyway, I ditched my smartwatch to try out this health tracker ring thing that Ultra Human sent me. The delivery process was surprisingly fast and organized. They shipped a sizing kit straight from Bangalore and once you pick the right size, you can use the app to confirm the other details you need to finish the order, which came in surprisingly fast. Now, I don't know how accurate this thing is, but me and the ring are still in the get to know each other phase. So I'll let you guys know how it goes in the future. It tracks a lot of things like my daily steps, sleep, heart rate, skin temperature, etc. It looks super high tech and I don't think anyone would suspect that you're wearing a health tracker ring. Although I kind of wish I just went with the matte black version. According to them, it can last up to 6 days and the charger that came with it looks cool as well. I took it on a 6 day trip abroad and only had to charge it when I got back home to the Philippines. So I guess they weren't lying. Thank you Ultra Human. So I've been watching so many watch content. Watching? Watch content? On YouTube lately. And I don't have the money to buy most of what they're talking about. Then I remembered that my sister bought me a cool Casio watch from her trip to Japan years ago, which I absolutely loved. But sadly, the straps didn't withstand the Southeast Asian climate, so I bought a cheap replacement from Lazada. I used this watch for years and even made a quirky ass phone wallpaper based on it. It doesn't have the fancy features of my smartwatch, but hey, it tells the time. And I haven't replaced the battery since 2019, I think. It's a bit small and developed a few scratches already, but whatever. I like the retro look and the basic functions. And according to Nico, Casio, you cannot go wrong. So, great. I hate bringing a wallet, but sometimes you'd have to, even if it has no cash inside. I'm still using a leather wallet that a local company sent me. It feels a bit loose when you have no cash inside, and it looks like a wallet that when people see, they'll take you a bit seriously. I put my mostly used cards in here and a ninja wallet that has several tools built in which is very handy. But in all honesty, I mostly just use this to open beer bottles. <laughs> this is my third ninja wallet since the first two were confiscated in the airport so keep that in mind if you plan on getting one. It's an awesome tiny tool that can fit in your wallet and I highly recommend it. It's not just for beer bottles by the way. If I'm just hanging out with some friends and will probably need some cash and coins, I bring this wallet from Anello, which I don't think they sell anymore, so stop asking me for links. It can hold some cash and cards at the back and has a slot for coins too. Came with a free carabiner and I attached a glow in the dark tag so I can see it in dark places too. If I remember it correctly, it only came in yellow, which is perfect for me since I love yellow. Not because I'm Asian, but fuck. For my keys, I still use this mini organizer from Keysmart, which is pretty cool on its own already, but I attach it to this keyring from uh, this awesome brand from Sweden. And of course, I added another glow-in-the-dark tag. To be a bit extra, I attach it to a magnetic key holder from, yet again, Keysmart. The magnets, unlike your previous relationship, are pretty strong, but for some reason, you can also just easily separate them. Just like your previous- I attach all of these to this squeeze ring from Night Eyes that I can't find online anymore. You can attach it to your pants or bag or whatever and it originally served as another key holder. But this is where I attach the MagConnect Pro for easier access to my keys. But like I said, the mini organizer is enough. Lastly, I guess this adds up to my EDC as well. I got a pair of Birkenstocks Arizona since I heard they're good investment and will last a long time. They better do. It cost me 7,000 something pesos. It's super comfortable and I like the way it looks which fits well with the Southeast Asian climate. I would recommend them but they're kinda pricey. But yeah, it looks good for me and hella comfortable. That's pretty much it. Let me know how much you hated this video. <laughs> well those are the few things that I bring when I leave the house. Wait, why do I leave the house? I work from home. Anyway, thanks for watching this short video and go watch my other videos. Go ahead, waste your time. Subscribe.